Hey there, it's Laura Dominic. Thanks for joining me on a Plan for Joy podcast. Each week we'll be talking about things that will help you break the cycle of depletion. You know, the one that has you going from doing all the things to feeling overwhelmed, frustrated, resentment, anger, to sucking it up and starting all over again. And instead, learn to break the cycle and contribute from a place of abundance. Are you ready? Good, let's go. Hello, and welcome to A Plan for Joy. I'm your host, Laura Dominic, and I'd like to welcome you back this week for a new episode. Today, we're going to talk about dreaming, because it seems like everywhere you go on social media right now, there's this talk about setting goals, setting goals, setting goals. I I can't tell you how many posts and podcasts and all that I've listened to about setting goals, right? It's the new year. It's time to make a new you. But I'm going to take a different approach here. Instead of setting goals, I'd like you to take a step back and let's talk about your dream of the season. And maybe that might sound a little unfamiliar to you, so we're going to unpack that here today. You see, God has placed a dream on your heart for this season of your life. It's your job to look at your desires and find the dream that's there among those desires and figure out which one of those desires is the dream he wants you to pursue for this season of your life. Finding the dream of the current season in your life and then pursuing it is the second step in my plan for joy framework. And that's because dreams are really important because dreams are what fuel the discipline in your life. When you have a dream you're pursuing, you're excited to get up in the morning. You're excited to do to find the time to do the work that needs to be done. And and it creates that sense of discipline automatically because you want to find the time to do these things to pursue your dream. So you're going to be uh, like almost automatically more disciplined. And God has put a dream on your heart for you to follow. The important thing to realize here is not following that dream leaves his plan incomplete Um, because maybe the dream he has for you is is what somebody else is waiting for you to accomplish so that they can um, accomplish their dream. And if you don't ever explore that dream or try to pursue it, or I mean, you might not accomplish it, that's that's a given, Um, but not even trying to pursue it can really have an impact, a negative impact on the people that are waiting for you in God's bigger plan to accomplish or pursue that dream. Um, so that's a really important point. It's not It's not that we can ignore these dreams. God wants us to do this for a reason. That's why he's put it there. So it's not a selfish thing to pursue your dream. He's given you this dream. It's important to find out what it is because other people can be depending on it. Um, I, Like I said in my book, When Good Isn't Good Enough, uh, Helping Christian Women End the Cycle of Depletion and Live a Life of Wholeness, chapter three is devoted all to to dreams and how they work in your life. Um, So if you haven't read that book, it's it's a quick read. I want you to just click the link in the show notes, get your copy. You can have it read in an hour and you'll have a much uh, deeper understanding of how all of this fits together. So maybe dreams and goals uh, aren't clear to you what the difference is. So I just want to take a minute to distinguish between them. So a dream is something that inspires you to stretch beyond yourself. It excites you, and it probably even scares you a little bit, mainly because a dream is something you don't know how to accomplish. So I have a dream of, I don't know, building an orphanage. That's the example that usually comes up. And I would have absolutely no way of knowing how that was ever going to work out. Um, Maybe I have a dream of general contracting my own house right? Who knows? But again, I don't have have the skills at the moment and and it's kind of a terrifying prospect. So I wouldn't know I wouldn't know how to do it, but it excites me to try. And uh so that's what 
the dream is you're you're going to have to have faith faith that this is the thing you're supposed to be pursuing and that it'll work out um and that God will reveal to you each step along the way you might not see the big picture but you'll get a step at a time dreams are very general and usually don't have a timeline um so that's kind of kind of what a dream is a goal on the other hand um is part they're smaller building blocks that get you to your dream they're not scary because they're rooted in the practical and you'll know how to accomplish them they they require you to do something so i am going to my goals which is what a lot of people are helping you set right now are to exercise 30 minutes a day or declutter my basement okay those are two of mine right now <laughs> so um things like that uh have a better routine to homeschool my kids whatever it is those are goals they're specific they require a time frame um well not that they require but they they generally lend themselves to a to a time frame and you know how to accomplish them so that's we're not talking about goals here we're talking about dreams so pursuing the dream uh of the season will require to be you to become a different woman than the one you are today and a lot of times that's the point it's not that you accomplish the dream it's it's who you become in the process um that is the amazing journey and so by uh becoming the woman you know that you need to be uh you will end up living your life by design and what do i mean by that so you'll design this woman you need to become to pursue the dream you might need to learn to be more organized or learn to communicate better or learn how to follow a routine maybe you'll need to become resilient and have more confidence in yourself maybe you'll need to work on your worth those are the kinds of things by what i mean by living by design you're you're purposefully going ahead and learning new skills so that you can do what you need to do and and you're living a life that's integrated um making sure that you are taking care of all the main areas of your life and not like one isn't outweighing all of the others so you're you're following your dream but your family life is falling apart no that's that's not what wholeness is all about that's not what the plan for joy is all about it's integrating everything while you're pursuing this dream so not pursuing a, the dream on your heart will likely lead to you living a life by default and what i mean by default is okay you're going to go to college and you just declare a major because that's what somebody else tells you should you should do or well that sounds like it might be good okay so there's no purpose to to no dream attached to that decision um then after graduation maybe you get married and you get a house and a dog and two kids and and it by default not because you're you're dreaming and designing um I'm not saying that that any of that is bad that's all that's all good and it could be part of your dream but it's you're never um allowing yourself to think outside of the box or to you know if you if you feel like you have a little twinge to follow a dream maybe you shut that down because you you can't figure it out or you don't know how to accomplish it or something like that so you don't want to to live your life by default letting circumstances and situations dictate uh dictate your life you want to be um following the dream god wants you to follow and and being the woman he has created you to be pretty much the dream i've had for a very long time has is kind of always been the same um but i've had to pursue it in different ways because of my season the season of my life so i've always had this desire to work with women to help them improve their lives and while i was raising uh 
and homeschooling my seven kids. I was pretty limited in the time I had to spend. So I did what I could. Um, I had a workshop that I wrote that um, helped homeschooling moms organize their day. And I realized, okay, well, going workshop to workshop is going to take too long, too much of my time. So I turned it into book form and I kind of just put it out there and let it do what it needed to do because I didn't have the time. It wasn't the season for me to pursue it. And I knew that full time. I was busy homeschooling seven kids. So, but now that my kids are getting older and and the, the point here is God is patient, right? He works with you. So you don't have to worry about it. If there's something he wants you to do, it's not going to go away. In this new season of my life, the dream has popped back up because I have more time and I have more ability. Um, and it's a bigger dream and in a slightly different capacity. So my dream now is still to help women and help make their lives better, but it's it's working on their whole lives, not just their homeschooling day. Um, I have more time now, so therefore the dream is a bigger dream. What you need to do is realize that every season of your life has a dream and some are gonna be bigger than others, right? When you have small children, you're going to be more limited in your capacity, potentially, if that's what God wants. Again, um, you have to kind of discern this. Uh, you Maybe you just want to learn about healthy eating and exercise so you can teach your kids all of this from a young age. A worthy dream for that season. So you spend the time that you can uh, learning and teaching them as best you can. So realize that God won't give you a dream to pursue that turns you away from your daily duty. It might stretch you, and it definitely will cause you to learn new skills. Okay, that's different. It's always a good thing, and but it will never inhibit you. For example, you won't be the mom of you know a bun- couple of small kids, and then you'll feel this desire to become a cloistered nun. Okay, not the plan, not not what God's going to call you to. But no matter what season you're in right now, if you feel the pull of a dream on your heart, you need to explore that. If you don't, time will go by and you'll often think about it and you'll feel feel kind of like a negative feelings. You'll feel maybe like a failure or upset that you're not doing anything about it then that's going to affect your self-worth and your self-image. And then that's going to affect everybody around you because now you are maybe more negative and you don't you don't have the self-esteem that you need. And so now you're having a negative impact on those around you, your family, because you're not the best version of yourself that you could be. So planning and pursuing your dream will change all of that. You will be accomplishing what you're called to, learning new skills, teaching your family members new things. You'll feel better about yourself and your kids will pick up on that. And it will help them to, it just will improve their lives. They'll feel better about themselves. They'll, maybe they'll emulate you and and follow their own, uh, follow their own dreams. So in addition to learning the skill of clarifying your dreams and goals, which is what you can learn through coaching, um, this is where a solid prayer life, and if depending on the dream, maybe even a spiritual director can come in handy. This step of the Plan for Joy framework definitely requires prayer. Um, A solid prayer routine really is a skill that you can learn if you don't know how to make and keep one already. And it's one of my favorite things to do because I think it's so important that I love helping women, you know, develop this prayer life and figure out why they've had problems in the past uh, keeping to a routine. So definitely one of my favorite things to do. And clarifying and pursuing your dreams is so important that I've made it a big part of my small group masterclass. So if you need help with this, if you if you feel like you're feel the tug of a dream on your heart, um, but you're not sure how to define it or 
discern it um, and you don't know how to set the goals that will help you attain it, then I would definitely like to have you consider signing up for my masterclass. The current um, current one I'm starting is at the end of January 2023. Uh, if you're listening to this in the future sometime, I'm always going to be starting new classes. So what you need to do is contact me. I'll have a link in the show notes to set up a call and we can figure out the best course of action for you to discern what your dream of the season is. So instead of spending January just setting goals for the new year, why not spend some time discerning the dream that God has put on your heart? The one that he's wanting you to pursue during this season of your life. Um, it's there. You just need to know how to find it. And then you have to have faith that God put it there for a reason. Okay, don't don't try to hide from it or run from it. Um, spend some time with it. And so, again, like I said, if you need help with that, I'm more than happy to talk to you and we can uh, figure out the best way to to work together to help you to pursue this dream. Because, you know, a plan, my plan for joy framework isn't just about the negative, it's about the positive. It's not just about getting out of the cycle of depletion and ending that. It's also about finding your dream and following it and building um, the skills you need to be the person you were created to be. Simple as that. So before you go, I would love it if you could like this video if you're on YouTube, subscribe to my podcast on whatever podcast app you're on, and leave a review on Apple because that would be wonderful. Reviews really help podcasters along. So please, if you haven't done so already, I'd love to have a review. And I will see you again next week. God bless.